You know, we never leave our pick. Natural girls, we never leave our pick. So today is a new vlog and we have to do a protein treatment. So I think we're going to do this one right here. Let me show you. So this is the protein treatment we're going to do today. I do a protein treatment and so I'm going to show you guys my protein uh, routine tonight. Um, I do a protein then a conditioning and then we will do like our regular regimen tonight. So as you can tell, it was in a puff. Um, I usually do my routines. If I'm going to do it twice a week, I do it on Sunday and Wednesday, sometimes Thursday. Um, but today is Sunday, so you guys will see my protein routine and um, how I do it. I'm not going to do a wash day. I think I'm going to do stuff step by step so you can see it. I do... Um, well, we'll talk about that tomorrow because I don't want to give y'all like too much because it will just be too much info but there you go so I'm gonna do a protein treatment like I said I'm gonna use that one that I showed you and then I use I follow with a deep conditioner um, after I wash my hair so first is the protein treatment I rinse that out um, and then I follow with a deep conditioner I'm gonna wash my hair first so let me go through the steps <laughs> I wash my hair first then I'm going to do the protein treatment. Like I do it two different ways, but I'm going to do it like the traditional way today. And then I'm going to do, um, so I'm going to wash my hair, a curl wash it. I'm going to use the Diva Curl. And I'm going to show you guys what I use. Then I'm going to deep, con uh, I'm going to do the protein treatment, take that, rinse that out, do the deep treatment, leave that in for maybe about 30 minutes. Rinse that out and then go into um, styling my hair. So that is the deal. And um, we're going to eat first and then I'm going to do my protein treatment and show you guys what I do. Okay? Hasta la vida, baby. Um, so I am currently washing my hair. I'm actually giving myself a scalp massage, but I use the regular Diva Curl No Poo. That's what I'm using. Y'all see it, it's in the big bottle. So we're going to use, that's an OG for me. I am going to try this deep sea repair though, but it's a protein treatment. So what I was going to say is the way that I do my protein, sorry. The way that I do my protein treatments is that I put a timer, um, a reminder in my calendar every other month to, so I could give myself a protein treatment. And so when the alarm goes off, that Sunday is when I do my protein treatment. So. Um, I'm going to finish washing my hair. I'm going to detangle, section off my hair, and we'll speed this up for the sake of the video. And let go. My hair is a freshly washed and detangled. That's why I love Diva Curl No Poo, seriously, because y'all saw how easy it just like went through my hair like butter. So um, it's kind of hard to find products that beat the Diva Curl No Poo just because I get detangling action um, with that. But we're about to go in with this deep sea repair. So I'm gonna just, usually what I do, this one says, let's read the directions first. How do I use it? After cleansing, thoroughly saturate the hair. Let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse. For the best results, slip a plastic cap and apply heat or cover with the Diva Curl towel to create body heat. Use once a week or as needed. So you can use this once a week. Um, I'm going to start a lot of times with a protein treatment so you don't get protein 
pin overload I like to use it every other month and then try to work my way up to like maybe once a month um, this is saying use it once a week uh, that you can use it once a week I don't know if you're low porosity if I would use something like that once a week um, if you have low porosity let me know down in the comments if you use a product like this once a week but I so far I like it now I can't tell if it will detangle my hair just because after with the diva curl no poo y'all and that's like my go-to I will try foaming cleansers but it has to be super hydrating because a lot of those strip my hair I like to finger detangle again just to get all the you know the tangles out this towel is obstructing my the greatness of my hair right now I thought of something um, if you are a person that washes your hair once a week twice a week highly recommend this so you don't ruin shirts get a wash shirt and that is the shirt that you wear whenever you wash your hair that way if it gets something on it you're not killing yourself because it's just your you know your shirt so I will take some of that since it says saturate the whole entire strand I do take it on my edges too y'all because my edges are very very thin and they need some strengthening so I will like rub the excess you know protein on that so I'm just doing an easy twist I'm sectioning it off in four sections of course if you have thicker hair you would do you know sections do sections that you feel like are manageable enough for you to de detangle so and I work from the back and then work my way up to the front I get a considerable amount of this since it says saturate I am going to put this on they are there are different types of protein treatments my curl rehab is the strongest that I have I believe because it's it does contain keratin in that one but I also do this treatment if I'm ever going to straighten my hair this is the same type of treatment I not only do it like I would do an extra step um, an extra treatment um, mind you if I'm going to straighten my hair because I want this I want to strengthen it I will strengthen it and then even after like when I want to go back to my curls I will do a, a strengthening treatment again because my hair is going from one you know curl pattern or it's altering to the next I hope that makes sense like I will do a protein treatment before and after a hairstyle a straight especially a straight a straight one but like I said I do this every other month I probably should do it like maybe once a month and see how my hair does because um, I do feel like my hair this is the weakest my hair has been so I, I probably should up and do it every month once a month I'm loving how this is like very creamy and how this feels on my hair it's clumping the curls and they said let this sit for 15 and 20 minutes so usually during that time I will go read a book I'll get some tea I'll just chillax do Netflix and chill I think I'm going to start reading a book that was suggested by one of my friends if you have some great books that y'all think I should read definitely comment down below and um, in one vlog I'll talk about maybe some we'll talk about some curly hair reads or if there's a a book that you would like for me to review here on the channel
I definitely talked about eight books um, in my 2018, like, you know, Happy New Year video. The one that's Rise, Shine, and Grind. I talked about eight books, a list that I want to create, eight books that I want to read. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I do have uh, some books that I do or have already, but yours can trump the ones that I have already. So, um, yeah. So we're going to let this set. We're going to put a plastic cap on it, let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, and then we will be back. I'm going to rinse this out. It is supposed to rain tonight, so um, I am going to do a wash and go and turn it into a twist out again. Something broke me out. I am going to do a twist out again. Um, but that was a very enjoyable experience. A 10 day twist out. Actually, an 11 day. But my hair was so dirty, y'all. Like, I could see all the product, and usually it's not like that. So, um, yeah. But I rather, like, cleanse my skin and scalp really, really well. Um, I think that it is a balancing act when you're growing your hair. You got to have a good scalp, healthy scalp, really, really strengthen ends and low manipulation and very well moisturized hair and making sure that your hair is strength, you know, is strong. So, um, yeah, we'll come back and we'll see. Um, next time y'all see me, I just wanted to show you my protein treatment. This is pretty much what I do. I think breaking it down and it won't overwhelm people. I think sometimes, I know with me, when I first was natural or tra actually transitioning into the, from the heat damage and stuff, I was so overwhelmed. I think if I break it down, let me know, comment down below, would you like to see sections? And then I'm going to piece it all together and make one full video, a professional one, you know? This is a vlog, but I think piecing it and showing you guys my wash routine and showing you guys my, you know, maybe my protein treatment, my, you know, what I do with my leave-in conditioners, like what technique I apply it, like what kind of oils uh, and butters and, you know, how I apply those and then like stylers and deep conditioners and let me know. I just, that's just how I feel is that it would be easier for you guys if I broke it down that way but let me know but I'll check with you guys tomorrow I'm gonna finish the rest of my hair tonight I think that's enough to show you guys until the next time but uh peace